Wow, good day viewers. It was a wonderful session um, the last time we met in the studio with Pastor Egbeson and where we talked about if I equipped youth readily prepare for war. I knew personally also that it could take more than a session, but I thought maybe we could watch it, but it wasn't possible. So we are here to continue if I equipped youth readily prepare for war. I guess that, uh, I believe that you watched it uh, and if you have not, Go back to it because it's loaded for you. The Lord prepared that message for you. Ever equipped youth. Readily prepare for war. We are fighting battles of life and the battle have not ended. You know, my guest the last time in the studio said, um, this world is a world of battle and that we are not of this world, even when we dwell in this world. So there's contest between the light and darkness. But remember, you are of the light. And your victory is sure. So you need to be prepared for war. You need to be ever equipped as a youth. The last episode, we spoke about what does it mean to be equipped as a youth and prepare for war. He said so much things in that. The second question was, what, what war are we even fighting? What war are you fighting? Where is the battleground? Do you know where the battleground is? Do you think the battleground is on this earth? No. Go and watch the last episode. You will know where the battleground is. And lastly, where we stopped the last time was the last question. How are we expected to fight and win? Not just to fight battles of life, but to win all battles. Believe me, if you missed last episode, go and check it again. You can win all battles of life and you will forever win in Jesus' name. We spoke about it. Then Pastor Egberson spoke so much about it. I have to sp stop him because of our limited time. Pastor Egberson, I don't know, maybe there are just little things I'm just because of our time. Maybe one or two statements you want to make on how we are expected to fight and win. Because I knew that day you had a lot to say, but I need to, we needed to quit the other time. Th thank you so much. Uh, I, I will just touch on some few important uh, points to add to how we to fight. And win. Because it's important that we understand how to fight and win. Mm. Many are fighting, mm. but they are not winning. And they are wondering, what am I doing wrong? Mm -mm. I remember um, a time I was having issue with my wife. Very unusual. She's a very quiet person, easy go. But she was behaving strange. And it was going on for months. And then here I am, married counselor, I, the things you preach, you can't even practice. You see, and let me say this. <laughs> We learn about so many principles, principles of marriage, principles of success, principles. <laughs> there are things in the spirit, these things ride on. When they are not in place, no principle will work. Mm. Read my lips, no principle will work. And I will make that clear to you. No principle. That's why people have read books about success, but they are not succeeding. Why? Because you are missing it. Mm. Some of the things I said, devil came, found certain things with them. And then he holds on to that. So when he, when he fights his own harrow, it can penetrate. To say, okay, in your lineage, you people are good at lying. Mm. You can see that your family, they are experts in lying. They like money, they are greedy. Mm. And that is part of you. But yeah, you are a child of God, you speak in tongue, you do. And then you are reading principles of success. Mm. And then it seems like everything is going well. Mm. Boom, before you know it, everything is scattered. Mm. And you are praying, fasting, nothing is happening. Because there is something the enemy is holding on to. So... The, the weapons with which we fight works effectively when the devil has nothing to hold on to us. These are the rules of engagement. These are the rules of fighting and using the weapons of war. And let me say, we are the real weapon. He said, I will teach your hand to war. So every weapon we assess, you know, like I mentioned in the last... We are the real we, weapon. Yes, because that's why he wants us to die to certain things. So that he can possess us. The Bible calls him the man of war. So he, he knows we don't know how to fight. So he, the whole arrangement is give me a room. I want to possess you and fight through your hand. So but there is a there is a condition on the basis of which he can dwell in us. Allah Korea. We can dwell in us. So we've got to empty ourselves of the things. He said. Which soldier will, that's in 2 Timothy 4, 2, 2, 4. 
that we are entangled, we are entangled himself, himself with the things of this world. And we please him. We enlist him as a soldier. It's not possible. It's not possible. So, there is a rule. There are things... Say, look, if you will die to the pride of life, die to the lust of the flesh, die to this. It's not a day's walk. That's why there is a, a journey. Hmm? We, are give, we, we are giving birth to when we are born again. As a child, you crawl. You know, you learn the, en- through the engrafted word of God. As you grow, you begin to grow. You begin to understand what not to do, what to do, mm. what not to do. You are mm. growing in mm. Him mm. and you are growing steadily. He, he does See, and don't. Once your growth is steady, you are, you are a winner because God understands the different levels you are and He will not allow you to be tempted beyond your level at every stage. He knows that. So He guides you. So, but when we refuse to grow, that's why He said in Galatians, He said, look, the child, this one that I want to make a soldier. This one that I have in there, you know, I've given all my wills to mm. power, mm. might, glory, mm. that he should reign as king. Mm. If he refuse to grow and he remains a child, mm. that is not different from the servant. So the servant devil use it, that those are the ones that devil still find something to hold on to. Mm. So I was given an illustration. I was having an issue with my wife. And then, you know, you use every method and principle. <laughs> I said I was getting you worse. Know. And then at a point, I was so frustrated. I say, you know, what baffled me was, you know, she used to be very submissive. So you were like shocked. What is happening? Is it me you are talking to like that and all that? <laughs> and then you find that all the, mat- all the main, main so-called strategy, you know, mm, mm, doesn't work. Mm. And then I say, God, this one, don't pass me. You see, until you learn to go to Zion for every issue, mm. every, if you trivialize a small issue, you will pay dearly. You see, in this kingdom, the devil that we are fighting with has been in the game for years before we were born. Before so we, we must born. understand that don't trivialize any, any, any. Oh my. There's one of our hymns that says we lose a lot we of We lose because, because we do we don't not take everything. So I went to prayer, prayer and then in prayer, God showed me. He said, look, your wife hears a different thing every time you talk because she's been manipulated. They were, they were like demonic manipulation. So, the so when you say A, she's hearing B. So, so I, she's I, reacting. So, I so screamed. I screamed. That was the third day when I was praying. So it, it, immediately the battle became over. Why? Because it's I yeah, understood because, that yes. it was no longer. So there were manipulations. To, oh. to, so Kali this Kabo. is the battle we are fighting. fighting the this is the of battle life. we are fighting. This is the battle we are fighting. This Sorry, is the I quickly want to say this. You can win. There's one of our book the Holy Spirit have helped us to write, fighting the battles of our life, of your life. You can take it, download it on our website, free of charge. It's free for you. Fighting the battle. All what is saying they are there. You can battles of life are what you can toil with once you get these principles. The Lord will help you in Jesus' name. I'm so, sorry for so, bringing in this. So, I want to read a scripture in First Timothy. It will shock you to know what was told Timothy as a youth. Mm. In First Timothy chapter 1, verse 18 to 19, mm. he said, This charge I commit unto thee, son Timothy, mm. according to the prophecies that was given concerning you, mm. that, thou, that thou by them may war a good warfare. Mm. So that you can war a good warfare. Listen to me, oh, Paul was telling Timothy. He said, holding faith and a good conscience. Holding faith. You know, in, as a science student, when you say this and this, it means they go together. If you say this or this, it means any of them. Holding faith, that is hold on to your faith. If you read the earlier he was telling you how to work in faith. Faith. He said, but look, faith is useless. If you don't have a good conscience, holding faith. So oftentimes we know that with faith, all things are possible. And that's why, how many things have you achieved with faith? All things are possible with faith. Okay, how many possible things have you achieved? Why your faith has not been working? Check your conscience. Your cons- many commit small, small sin and uh, they bury it. And bury it. You are killing the con- faith works. Right. Your faith will rise and answer to you on a good conscience. On a good conscience. So we neglect. Now, see what he said. He said, which some, that is this thing I'm telling you is which some have put away concerning faith and have made a shipwreck. This is why many have failed 
to succeed, to achieved, win in the battles of life. life. I'm wondering what am I doing? I'm mm, paying my tithe. I'm mm. doing this. Yet, that small thing, that small book you went and turned, you went to Lord Love is here. That small one uh, is the one, auntie. Why prosperity is not coming? You feel you have read all the principles of. So, devil hides. So, the moment you can clear ourselves mm. of all that the devil can hold on to. For so, the man what, of what, war. what you are saying is that because I have this question, that is there a guarantee that battle will be, can be won? I, is that what Before you are trying I say to that, say? Yes, let sir. me just say in summary yes, sir. that we are fighting a spiritual war. We belong to a kingdom that is not of this world. Yes. So it is from that kingdom we get instructions. instructions yes. on, okay. Because the strategy you use for one battle is not the one. Sure. So we get instruction from that kingdom. On so you must be battle. you must be spiritual and must be able to assess. So today, so some Christian, yes, some Christian can assess today because they are spiritually inclined. Tomorrow, because they have dived into things that close the gate, they can't access. Oh, so they don't have access to the strategy to use and fight and the next battle. battle. So they will not hide, okay, let me use the old method. It doesn't work. So this is, she must be able to have, to have access and continuously. The ready summary prepare for is the things to, to note, the fear of God. These are the things that give you constant access. The fear of God. Live a lifestyle of the fear of God. Where you, it's not in and out. You. No, it's not in and out. The fear of engage in the power of the Holy Ghost. Power. Without the Holy Ghost, you can't have access to everything. You may have access to some things, but not everything. Mm. Holy Ghost is the one that guarantees access to everything. He will guide you into all truth, not some all. That's so what for, the scripture for constant virtue. Be committed to studying the word. These are the basic things we learn every day, but there's, there's no shortcuts. How are we doing it is the issue. Are we doing it with a good conscience? Mm. Because the devil is not bothered about you reading the word, praying, fasting. It's about you doing it the right way. So that he can win Every in the battle. When you do it the right way, he loses. So he's not bothered about you going to off. He's not scared. But you doing the things right the way. right way. Ah, then he loses. So he's doing it the right way. So don't do it at all if you won't do it the right way. That's the that's the way to win. Stay joyful. You are doing everything. You are praying. You have the fear of God. But you are only because some things have not manifested. So that means you are not working in faith. Stay yes. joyful. Sure, you are not working in faith. The joy of the Lord is the strength of soldiers Kala in the kingdom. Stay joyful in faith. And then continually put the word you are reading to use. Mm. Every challenge you are going through in the process of manifestation of what you are expecting is part of the making. Mm. It's part of the making. Mm. All things work together for, for good for good. those who, who love called. God and who are called according to his purpose. Mm. Mm. You must be tested mm. to be promoted. So, what is the guarantee that battles will be won? In John 16 verse 13, the Bible says, these things I have spoken unto you, that ye may have peace in the world, be of good ye, I have, have overcome, overcome the world. world. So that is our lies, our guarantee. Guarantee is, 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 is ever sure if we follow the terms of engagement. Victory is sure. It's a battle that the victory has been determined. But you have to fight in a particular way. Once you follow, he said also in 1 John 5, 4, he said, For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. But then he told you in Timothy, hold on to your faith with a good conscience. Take it along. Mm. Take it along. Victory is sure. Faith with joy. Faith with love. Don't say you are working in faith and you don't show love. These are the things faith writes on. These are the, you know when you are fighting, mm. you don't only shoot, you also learn to defend. Mm. If you are only good at shooting, you will be the first casualty in war. Mm. But when you know how to defend, every shot will be on target. So your character, so, your attitude, so, obey so the word of God. So there are things that God, God has called us to do. You. They provide defense. So everything the enemy is shooting. Kalabo, so any shot you are you ever take, facing your office, yes. you are not any doing shot. any mago mago. So all these things so God is saying, so your we should you are die facing. to are the defense, Kalabo. the shield. Yekita, and then... Your faith is the with which you, you <laughs> clear the devil of the way. Wow. So this is the way to fight in mm. the kingdom mm. that we have been called unto. Mm. 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 So 
Victory mm. is ever guaranteed. Let me clap for Jesus. Victory is ever guaranteed. Victory is ever guaranteed. Victory is ever guaranteed. You can win all battles of life. You have heard that. Just apply the principles. It's there. Don't be troubled again. Just live the life of God. Live the life of righteousness. Live for God. That's just the basic thing. That's all what we are saying. If we will say it tomorrow, it's still going to be the same thing. I pray the Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Sir, God bless you. I, I want to ask this final question. That what advice do you have for those who have missed the understanding of how to be equipped and fight to win? You know, there are many people that, you know, maybe because of issues of life, their experiences. I know many souls have been illuminated from this word of God. But what advice do you have for those who thought that maybe there is no way out? They don't even believe in God and swing prayer. There are people who don't even believe in God. Or they don't believe that, they just believe that one magic will just happen one day. Many people have, I don't know you. I, I, I believe you know that so many people believe that can they ever win any battle of life? Can anything even just change for them? This is a, you know, some, so, so, some people have patterned their life to, at least, it's a life of struggle. I don't believe I'm born to struggle. I'm born to rule. Yeah. It's the mindset that we carry that determines the extent of our victory. As a man thinketh, so is he. If you are a soldier, you know, that's why all soldiers are not even in the same rank. Because some take the, assignment differently and commit themselves. Some beyond the exercise on the field, they do exercise at all just to be more equipped and ready. Mm. This is the life, you know, in practical terms, the life we are also called to live. Mm. You know, there are things that we must do every second. Read the word, shoot the word, pray every... We say, man, all always to pray. Always. There is no praying. Praying is not just 9 o'clock, 12 o'clock. Always! If, if we must find that grace, ask for that grace. To pray. You are in the kitchen. When we do that, these are the gateway that gives us access to Zion every minute. So you will not be visiting and going and going the secret place. You will dwell. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. In 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse, I think verse uh, 4, 4 to 5, he said, No man that worried entangles himself with the affairs of this life. If those who have missed it, they should check. There is one affairs of life that has entangled them. Mm. They should be saying, no man that wars or worried no entangles man. himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who has called him or enlisted him to be a soldier. Mm. If you are, he says in the next verse, he says, if you are stri striving for mastery, that is to win, then you have to run according to the, to rules, the rules of engagement of that game, of that so that's the thing. So there are rules. We we'll go to the scripture. That's the, our manual. That's our weapon. When Joshua was to take over from Moses, he was afraid. We cannot achieve what Moses have achieved. God laughed and said, Joshua, he said, will you be with me like you were with Moses? He said, more than that, we lie. Joshua, if it is that one, that question you ask, consider it done. But let me tell you how it will work. There is a part you have to play. There is a part I have to play. Mm. Every faith exactly. that leaves the whole responsibility on God mm. is a useless faith. It's, a useless it's foolishness. Faith. There is a part to play. Mm. There is a part God has to play. When you mm. play your part, he's ever faithful to God play his part. Lord. So he told Joshua, I said, this book of the law shall not depart from your hand. Mm. But in it you will meditate day and night. See, we're not reading the scripture with diligence and following it with diligence. We read. Many don't meditate. That is the gateway to Zion. Meditation. Meditating on God's word is one of the quickest ways to assess light. How do you meditate? You meditate God's word by dwelling on that word. You take a scripture and you begin to reason. Okay, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God. Mm. In the you are not rushing to go to the, the next line. Holy Spirit, open my eyes. And tell me, show me how the beginning. Beginning as how. In the, you, you dwell on it. You are, you are pondering it. You are trying to as you are dwelling, one minute, two minutes, five minutes, in the beginning of five minutes, your whole heart is dwelling on that scripture. Oh, you will get to a point. You see, something is happening in the spirit as you are meditating. You will break the code mm. in the spirit yes. that gives you access to that thing you are finding. Mm. You see, and the light behind, for every scripture, there is a spirit behind it. Yes. God will open you to the spirit of that word. And, take and it when to that dilemma. answer into you, you see, that scripture becomes a weapon. 
if you quote it with that revelation that you got at that with point, that mindset, the answer to anything with that understanding yes. for what that scripture is meant. Kala you dwell on it on, and until on, you do that. Until, so we, these are what many Christians don't learn. But unfortunately, we meditate. Whether man is meant to meditate, we meditate on our problems. Hmm. The same way God wants to give us access back to Zion, Kala to Kala. revelation, to light, is the same way devil is fighting our soul to bring us into bondage and stronghold. The it, same way. Of the life. same way. So we meditate. His own is that for the kingdom of light, we have to consciously do it. God will not force. That's why he said, I'm at the door knocking. But the other one, he will bring the thoughts to you. Comes. Even when you are praying, you are praying to pray. You will see thought of, you know, you say you want to cook. Devil will be the one because they call him the prince of the power of the air. He knows how to manipulate the mind. So this is, this is the battle of the mind that we are fighting. The moment you are able to conquer your mind, mm. oh my goodness, you shall. rise in rank in the spirit. Mm. Even the mm. devil knows you. Mm. This is how we win. This is how we win. It's no more than this. You can practically win all battles of life. I've said this severely. Ever equipped you, readily prepare for war. Listen to the last episode. Listen to this episode. Prayerfully do it. I can believe it. What issues of life? You will look at issues of life. They will be as if there were no issues. You will work on issues and circumstances of life. I can tell you. Believe this. It's about my life. He has spoken a lot. Those things he said are how I have been able to do it. I'm sure that is how he has been able to do it. And that is why he can say it boldly by the power of the Holy Spirit. You can say it. You can be there. You can be more than that. As a soldier in Christ, that is if you really mean business. I know you really mean business. I know you want to overcome the world. Oh, it's been awesome. Ever equips you. Readily prepare for war. See you on the winning side of the soldiers and listed soldiers of Christ to win all battles. And the Lord will help you in Jesus' name. Wow, 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 wow. wow. Praise God. Hallelujah. It's, 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 it's been wonderful. I just pray the Lord will establish you. The more. I pray we will not do it in vain. It's always been wonderful having you. Oh, God. The same time, see you the same time, the same station next week by God's grace, be rapture ready. Don't ever miss it. Don't miss you talk with Mary Olabi. It's always, we always receive from the Lord for you. This program is set for you. We leave it for Christ for you. The Lord will help you in Jesus' name. Be rapture ready. See you. Bye. <music>